it's Sarah and it is time for our December let me just go back a little art journal page and I decided to do a Zentangle piece and this is actually um, Joanne Fink's book Zenspirations and it's dangle designs that are Zentangle inspired so it's Zendangles they call them right um, I've done these before. I've shared my pieces. I've done ATCs. Here's my little um, book that I've played with before, just kind of getting the idea. You can do little scenes. You can make little characters, but you just add a little Zentangle to it, but the Zendangle is different. I'll show you. Look. So here's an S. These are the dangles. So you add you do your rods and you create a zentangle pattern. So I created my S and I put a lot of zentangle patterns in there, but then you also add dangles and these are called toppers. So anything that comes out of the top of your rods is a topper. Um, so it's, it's basically this. And, and what I'm going for is I want to do a Christmas design. So here's my Aunt Elma's name just did it in block letters and you double over some of your lines and leave a little space there to put a zentangle in there and then these are the dangles these little things are the dangles so and I've shared this before if you want to go back actually um, Joanne does some videos on YouTube for Sakura because we're going to be using the Sakura Micron well, I'm going to uh, Micron the Pigma Micron, and this is the 01 um, Super Fine Point uh, arch Archival Ink um, for our to create our Zenspiration design. But then we're also see here's one that I've already done, and I'm I'm gonna kind of expand on this. I'm gonna use my Jelly Roll pens to embellish. Um, and I kind of kept it red and green. You guys can go full color, no color. Um, I was thinking blues would be really pretty too, like blue, keeping it winter. Um, it doesn't have to be Christmas if you guys aren't Christmassy. But we're, I just wanted to create, so you could just make this a woodsy thing, right? And you could have a little um, owl hanging from here or whatever, little, little, pine cones and things like that. I just kind of decided to do it like ornaments. That was my thought anyway. So I'm going to hopefully, I'm just going to use this as a reference. I just wanted to, because I hadn't done it in a while, um, do one real quick. So what I'm going to do is have you do is get a piece of, and this is vellum. It says, it says it's mixed media paper, but it is, let's see, the Strathmore mixed media vellum surface and it's pretty smooth so I've been using this all year we're on our last page of the year this is my 2017 art journal I've done one a month so you just want to cut a piece in half so it becomes around six by nine and I decided to go horizontally and so you're just going to create all right, Matt, you getting going? Yeah, see you later. See ya. And then, and you know what? Um, Joanne always says you want to definitely overlap, and so that that creates the little spaces for you to to create your zentangle um, inside of. You can make circles. She also, all right. So here, so we're gonna start with. Let's do our heart over here. And I like to continue down and then we'll put a package right here but see you want to create other lines too and it might look like that I'm not crazy about that but um, don't be afraid I want it you just have to be um, let the pen do the work. We're, there's no erasing, but now I'm going to do it again. So you go back, and we'll fix it if it needs it. I'll show you. Oh, that was okay. And 
then what else did I do? I did a diamond. And these could be all different sizes and hang down at different. See, this is actually really straight across. So, I, I mean, it would be neat if you could have one high, one low, one, you know. And then on this one, I put like the this rectangular shape and then the package below it because I wrote piece in the rectangular shape. But this time I was going to try to do something like um, a banner. And I don't know if I have room, but it would be like this. And then, oops, wait, let me go to the banner section because I want to see how she finishes it off. Here they are. Again, it's just like, it's not, she doesn't, she just finishes it off. See here, these are called banners and, um, what is she, socks, a sock dangle. So she finishes it off. She just creates. So you could just start by putting a bunch of lines, right? All different lengths, close together. This is my practice one. I just want to show you some different ways to go. Close together, far apart. And then you're going to connect some of them. Like, see this one? You could do that. And we could write love in there um, okay so anywho and then this could actually get connected to that like it doesn't have to stop this could go it's just endless so it's it's really something that you can do on your own I'm not gonna do it and have you copy me or not copy me but do exactly what I do just know that, like, see on this one, I didn't overlap as much. So for my star, so on the heart, I'm going to go, I'm going to start here. Let's see. Wait, first I'm going to go up and down and over and down. And then I'm going to actually start in the middle like that. And then I'll put a heart inside the heart. And so... Here's what you're going to do with these. You can do some thick lines. So I'm going to just switch to my 05 micron. And I'm going to make some thicker lines in there too. So here's what she does. Like right here, you can make, it looks nicer if it is um, like, connected smoothly if you know what I'm saying so this one because I just rushed through this to get it to this degree of finish to show you but like in here this could be thick lines because all of that adds to the character of the piece as well so it doesn't want it, it just, it, there's so much, I mean, I can't even, so, and, and then you want to do maybe some solid dots too. So some of these are solid, but some are going to absolutely be open. So you could actually do big, little, little, and then like, see, so you want to, and then here you might want to have a little zentangle pattern. This is one of my favorites, this little, and I made this into a package the last time, which I liked. And if you're good at making a bow, you could have put a bow. Then above, I did um, a Christmas tree. And I put a star on it. And then I had a little, like, just a diamond over here. And, like, then I, I decided to do, like, some packages. I put a little bow. And I just put it on a, um, 
So you could do a couple packages. So maybe this has two piled it together. And this has a circle and a circle. So you just want to, and then you can also do little swirly things like this. We could put a flower. Um, I hope you can see okay. So you could just go crazy, right? Um, and then when you're filling in, so you've got these lines. I'm going to do... triangles um, over here I'm gonna do circles I like just doing circles keeping in the same keep it the same size as the space so they get smaller I love that one and I'm just gonna put that and you can actually hang a dangle from here let's put a heart see so this one looks kind of rough but like It'll come together. Just try to keep your line straight. Let me start on this side again. So let's just start. Then, if you don't want to do the swirlies, which I like, I think it looks very Dr. Seussy like that, you can just do lines. So just make, and don't try to be too even. Try to make them crisscross. Oh, my pen is, so you want to go slow. And then just start to make lines like this some go through each other um, and you can go like that and then on the ends of here she puts little finials so you could have all different kinds of shapes but don't forget to go up too because these are super cute to put and then just start pulling your dangles <laughs> down. All right. So that's basically it. I'm going to work on one. I'm going to work on another one. I'm just going to show you what I did here. I want to improve a little bit on this one by simply adding more lines around my main objects. And I want to add a banner instead of having the ornament like this. I don't know. I mean, because inside the shapes, I could put um, lines that I could write words on, but I think I want to put a banner. I'm not sure. We'll see how it turns out. And maybe I'll do one this way. No, I think I want to go this way because there's more opportunity to uh, build. So I'll be back and I'll show you my other one. All right, you guys? Okay, so I went a little crazy. <laughs> so this is my first one. A little minimalist, right? But still comes across really cute overboard so now I'm going to do some coloring and I think because I don't know I have a lot more little places they're tiny though I was going to use just my red and green Tombos so basically I have red green gold and silver Mm. but I thought there's really not like any huge because I wasn't sure if I was going to fill in uh. mm -mm -mm. I don't think I'm going to go ahead with these yet let's just I'm going to start with actually let's start with the glitter because the, the um, this is called glaze these stay wet a little longer this one the one that looks really shiny so I might smudge that but the glitter is glittery and then the other ones I think are called stardust or but they're they're no not these these are just the metallics so and I don't have a red metallic so anywho let's just start filling in this is with the glitter so I'm just gonna make sure okay good so definitely the hearts, right? And I could do, see, here's the thing. I thought, I mean, I could just leave that. I think I can. I could do whatever I want. So, but I, I think what I was doing was really just filling in 
little area so I wasn't say coloring in the whole art or um, heart but look how sparkly that is so this little heart that's kind of how I did it to keep track of what went where I just said all right well I'm gonna do all the hearts red so everywhere I see a heart and actually I think I'm gonna color this whole heart in so it's up to you I mean however you see it that's what it shall be but these gel pens are they just bring it to life so awesome and those of you who watch my videos you know that I am a color girl I do tend to go for color I don't do uh, monochromatic very often or um, like what am I thinking of antique right what is it called um, shabby chic I like it I have done it but I never really just that's not my go-to so like for instance that's some hearts and like let's just do the tree green I'll do it in glitter so this is the Christmas tree right here I only did one actually this is not glitter I did this metallic see how it's metallic Ooh. Um, so what else should I do green just some circles and then I also like to space it out so I'll just go up down up down like hit and miss trying to get a little bit um, of each type of pen evenly spaced on the project so and then I tried to do my best at adding the black the thick thin lines which I am really not good at um, you guys should definitely watch uh, Joanne's videos on Sakura she she explains it very well so here this is the glaze pen so it has a different see it kind of flows out it's thicker and I like that but I just don't want to put my hand in it now that I've done it um, I thought I did that somewhere else put more hearts I just happened to see those but see how it kind of I'm gonna do up here this flower here's a heart so maybe I won't do that flower now that I found that heart but anywhere you see a heart and I should have added way more hearts I think I'll do this little package red so I just want to try not to get my hand in it uh, I mean it's just so much you can do so I'm gonna go away and continue on so like the gold this is the metallic gold I think I'll do all the diamonds so I'll just start filling in and then after I do the diamonds in gold I'll go in and find random areas that don't have any gold and feel like this one has a split down the middle so maybe I'll do half gold this paper is a little um, th thick so I can tell my um, pens are digging into the paper they're not laying down this might be my no that's my good one I have two golds because I use it the most so that is what I'm gonna do and I'll come back and we'll compare the two all right you guys so have fun I'm so excited so see I wrote a few words I wrote joy peace hope I thought I wrote believe oh I wrote believe on the present uh, love and giving those are my like banners so I'll come back and give you a better look at the end
All right, I'll be right back. All right, this is the overboard one, and this is my minimal one, All right? So I'll come in. This one's a lot neater because I didn't have as much wet to get my hand in when I did it, so it didn't come out as smudgy. And I like the minimal. Like, there's just a little Whoville Christmas up there. It's so cute. Ciao, I'm filming. All right, so this one, I went a little cray-cray. I added some silver metallic. I added something else, another color. And I could keep going. Like right now, as I look down, I see things that aren't all the way filled in. I filled in the package. I filled in a couple of the diamonds. I don't know if I should have. But I like the banners. I like it. It's more of a zendangle. So I'll put it down. You know what I mean? Like this one is completely covered. But see, I stuck my hand in it. So I put white out over a few places. But I, it was just, I was all over the place. And I kept switching pens. <clears throat> so this one is more really what she does with her work. She really covers the whole area. And this one was just really keeping it simple, you know. So that's it. I'll probably put both of these. Let me write December. See, I just wrote December down here. Really little. I don't want to use that pen. I'm just going to write it on this one. Um, did I spell it right? It looks so weird. Um... So that's it, guys. I will be back to bind our little book together. Um, I think I might use the bind at all, but I may just use binding rings. I haven't decided. Um, and there's lots of other ways to bind things up. So I'm going to have to look into it before I get back to you. I also wanted to just show you, look at this other fairy I made. The videos before this one, I did a little art doll fairy, right? Or not a fairy, an angel. And I had used these wooden wings and I ran out of them. But in my jewelry stash, I had these wings. And these are actually wings that I got in the jewelry department at Hobby Lobby. So I think she looks perfectly cute. I mean, it's a little perspective-wise, it's not as good as the wooden ones, but I still think it's completely doable. You know, she's, you still can tell she's an angel. So, um, I love that. And then I also did this little snowman, and I meant to do it as a video, because I bought these little snowmen, uh, I think Hobby Lobby too, and they were, they're already made, like it comes like this, so I just painted them, and then I put like gold ribbon on his hat. I think I want to put like a little something like a feather in his hat or make a bird sitting on there or something. And he's holding the little strand of lights. And I gave him a, a, a um, scarf with gold, the same gold ribbon. So that was it. I just wanted to show you that. He's a little ornament too. Um, and that's it. So I probably won't see you guys till the new year. I don't really have anything in mind unless I have a slow day over the weekend, which is possible, and I decide to bind this little art journal. So we have January, February, February again. I did a Valentine's page. March. I love that one. April, the things were just budding and I wanted to do a technique. May, June, July, that was kind of like a Zentangle. I just wanted to do it on craft. August, oh look, Kiwi's Feather, remember? September. This is the piece that I copied from Ikea with the metallic background and the metallic gold leaves. This was fall. 
October. Went a little crazy there, but I love it. November. My little turkey. I love him. And December is the most chill of them all. Alright, you guys. I'm going to probably put both of these in there. What the heck. Alright. So I will bind these up into a little 2017 art journal. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.